Hello my friends and welcome to today's video. I'm Jeanette with Beeble Vintage Designs. In today's video I will be painting a watercolor autumn wreath. I am using 100% cotton Arsh watercolor cold press paper and you can see on the left there I do have a variety of brushes. Most of them are by Rosemary and Co. They are spotter brushes and these brushes are great for the beginner because they have short bristles and I find that it allows you more control than brushes with longer bristles and these brushes are really great when you're painting when you're doing a painting that has a lot of small detail. I am also using my Muno Pan Paints, which you've heard me mention in previous videos. This is a wonderful set of paints for the beginner. There are 48 different colors. There's a few metallics in there as well. And if you're just beginning and you don't know what palette to purchase for watercolor, I highly recommend this palette. So you can see here that I am painting a sunflower. And to create the petals of the sunflower, I start with the tip of the brush. And as I move it across the paper, I apply some pressure. And as I end my petal, I lift it back up to the tip. So you can see I've added my first layer of petals. And this video is a little sped up. So I do allow it to dry a little bit. And then I go back and add a second layer of petals and I mix the colors on my palette. You can see I have some yellow, oranges, and browns in the, in the third well down. And I just run my brush through those colors and I create the second layer so that there is a difference in the colors of the petals, of each layer of petals. So it gives it a little bit more detail. Then I grabbed a little bit of like a, a raw umber for the center and then went around the perimeter of that color with a darker shade of brown. I just used the tip of my brush to dot that color in for the center. And now I'm creating a little branch with some cute little green leaves. And to create the leaves, I'm using the same technique that I did for the petals. I start with the tip of the brush, apply a little pressure, run it across the paper, and then lift back up to the point and I'm creating these leaves using two strokes, one for each side. And in between, I am leaving a little white space to make it look like the vein in the leaf. And now I'm creating some red leaves around the sunflower and I'm going around the petals using the tip of my brush. And these brushes are perfect for this. Again, these are great detail brushes and they have a nice point so I can go in between each of those petals to create these leaves. Once the leaves were dry, I used the tip of the brush with a darker shade of the leaf color to create some veins just for a little bit of detail and a little bit more interest. And I also have some very good news. This will be the last painting that I do in my kitchen. I am finally feeling well enough to make it down to my studio. So this weekend I had my fiance carry all my art supplies down there, poor guy. <laughs> But all my art supplies are down there and I'm hoping to be able to get down there this week to organize everything and to begin painting in my studio once again. It was fun to paint in my kitchen and I'm glad that during my recovery I was able to continue posting videos. That was really important to me. I think that being able to paint while I recovered helped keep my sanity. So uh, while it was really nice to be able to continue painting. I am thrilled to finally feel well enough to go down into my studio and to be able to use my compressor for my alcohol ink paintings and just to have all my supplies exactly where I need them. Uh, there were a lot of times where I wanted to create a painting but there were supplies downstairs and I had so many art supplies upstairs 
It was a mess. I had them in my dining room, in my kitchen. I bought an art cart, which was really helpful, but I just had too many art supplies down here. So I'm looking forward to spending some time this week downstairs, reorganizing everything, getting settled, and to start creating art back in my studio. So I want to thank all of you for your support and your well wishes during my recovery. I really do appreciate it, and it was really nice to read your comments. It made me feel really good knowing that um, my followers were so supportive, supportive and so involved in my recovery. It's been quite a rough road and a long road at that. I did have some complications which hindered my recovery, but I am finally, finally seeing the light of the end of the tunnel, and I'm feeling pretty darn good. Okay, let's get back to the painting. So you can see here that I am filling in some of the spaces with some branches and I'm just using a brush with a smaller tip of smaller bristles and um, using pressure when I want the branch to be thicker and then coming up to the tip of the brush to create the smaller branches. And here I'm creating a sunflower in profile. And to make it look like it's in profile, you can draw an oval. And in the oval, draw another oval to represent the center of your flower. And you can draw it lower in your first oval. And then stay within that oval and create smaller petals on one side and longer petals on the other side. And that will make your flower look as though it's in profile. I hope I did a good job of explaining that. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. I'm always happy to answer any questions. So you can see here that I'm adding a little bit of greenery, just a small little branch of leaves. And to create the leaves, I'm using the same technique that I did for the sunflowers. You can see I create one side and then go back and create the other side of the leaf, leaving a little white space to represent the veins. And to create the little berries, I use a smaller brush on its tip and I leave a little white space as I fill in the area. And I use a little, I use a couple of different colors just to create a little bit of interest and depth in the little berries. And now I'm creating another sunflower. You can see I'm putting down my first layer of petals. And you can see that I'm dipping into the different colors. And now I'm going to let it dry a little bit. And I'm going to go back and add some branches, connect my little berries to some branches. And now that my sunflower is a little drier, I'm adding a second layer of petals using a little bit darker color than the first layer. Now I'm using a darker brown. I'm just using the tip of the brush to layer, I mean rather to um, dot in the darker brown. And I'm using a lighter color in the center of my center. And now I'm letting that dry and I'm going to move on to adding some more leaves around this particular sunflower again using the tip of my brush to get in between those petals. So you can see here I'm creating some more of these little twigs or branches and I think I think that looks really nice in this wreath. So using a smaller brush, using just the tip of the brush to create the branches, making the branches a little bit thicker and as they branch out making them a little bit thinner by using just the tip of the brush. and creating some veins in those red leaves. I'm using a darker shade of the color of the leaves to create the veins using the tip of the brush. And now I'm just going around the painting and I am going to add a, a little filler here and there wherever I think I need something. Here you can see 
the flower, my uh, second or third sunflower is dry and I've gone back with a darker shade of brown and dotted around the edge of that center to create a little bit of depth. And again, just going around the flower and adding a little something here and there wherever I think I need it. Now I'm adding a couple of little yellow leaves to some of these branches. I thought it needed a little something more. This was a really fun painting. I hope that you do give it a try. And if you do, you can always post your version of this painting or techniques on our Facebook group, Vivo Vintage Design Tutorials. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.